Hey yo everyone, what's up? Welcome back to another Terraria video. You like that noise I made when I came out of the pipe? Yes, we are here. We're asking the question, what if Mario was in Terraria? And thanks to the Mario Land mod, you know, we get to see this question become reality. Now, I got a chest here, and as we pop open this chest, boom, bada, bing. Look at all the beautiful Mario items in here, including Wario items, which is very nice, because believe it or not, the Wario games are low-key some good games. And I'm not just talking about WarioWare. I'm talking about, have y'all ever play Wario Land? The one on GameCube? That game was amazing. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's check out all these items because this mod is very cool. There's also another mod called Yoshi's Island mod, which adds in a lot of stuff too. We'll do a separate video for that. But let's go ahead. Let's start hopping into these items. You know, let's let's take Luigi stuff. Actually, let's take Mario stuff first. So we're going to grab these four items. We got Mario's cap plus one, which I think just, I don't know what it does. It just says plus one. But there's that. And then we got his overalls. And then we got the bros boots because they both work on Luigi and Mario. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's put all this stuff on and uh let's see what happens we're not gonna put on the plus one cap we're gonna put on just a regular fit and let's just see what happens oh my god this is amazing as we can see top left mario time damaging jump attack wall jumps and swimming oh yes oh yes let's see the wall jump oh look at oh let's listen to the sound effects here oh my god oh my god the classic whoop is did that sound like the jump Whoop! It's beautiful. This is honestly really dope. I should make like a, a little bit better of an arena here. Uh, if you want, if you're wondering where these uh, pipes are from, it's from the Builders Plus mod. But let me take this off. Let me make a little bit better of an area to showcase the powers and stuff. All right, we got a little better area to showcase our abilities here. But yeah, it said we can we can damage things by jumping on them. We can wall jump and we can swim. I want to see the swimming. The wall jump, you know, it's kind of just like Terraria's wall jump. I can kind of stick to the walls a little bit better. Maybe I should take that off. Take off the, the master ninja gear and then see what we can do. It, it looks how you would expect it to look. And then the swimming. It makes the swimming noises. The swimming doesn't seem like anything special, though. It seems like how you would swim uh, in Mario. Actually, I don't know. We're not really doing the swimming an animation. But maybe because there's not enough area to swim necessarily. But we got an enemy right here. Small bubble. Let me see if I can jump on it. Oh, oh. Oh, yes. We getting one ups or quote unquote one ups. We're getting health, but this is amazing. Now, let me jump on like a regular enemy that's like somewhat killable, like a slime. I don't know. They all got a lot of health. What was that noise? You heard that when I take, took damage? <laughs> I can't take damage because I'm in God mode, but let me turn it off and let me see. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what you'd expect. Honestly, everything's what you'd expect, but it's in Terraria, which is what makes it cool. When you pick up items, there's a little noise that plays. Oh, beautiful. I'm kind of interested to see what this plus one does. Does it do anything? No. Maybe I do more damage. I don't know. It just says plus one. Maybe I'm faster. I can't tell. Let's go ahead. Let's put on Luigi's outfit oh, now. Luigi. Oh, yes. My boy Luigi here. Now, my question is, does he jump higher? He might jump higher. Let me let me just let me cycle back and forth here. See if he jumps higher or not. Oh, yeah. He definitely jumps higher. I clear this pipe easily. Look at that actually i don't know i can't tell if i'm being honest but yeah let's go ahead let's see how he fares in this little arena or course that we have here not bad exactly the same you know mario and luigi they have a lot of similarities obviously now i wonder if he does more damage i don't know let's just test it let's see what he does the let me see up here now it's the same abilities but let me see here he feels really slippery you see when i stop walking he kind of glides a little bit which I don't know if Mario was doing that. It didn't feel like Mario was doing it. But uh, he pretty much does the same damage. Actually, he might be doing more. I can't tell. Maybe because it's a slime and not a small bubble. All right, next up, you know, the outfit I'm wearing right here. Wario's outfit. We got his nasty looking boots. Let's put those on. And there we go. Oh, my God. This is amazing. This is my favorite so far. Now, I don't... Oh, he has his own little dash we can do. Because I don't have the uh, the Master Ninja gear on anymore. Makes a very scary noise. Like, what is that noise? So it says, Wario time. Bashes enemies, jump, attack, and swimming. So it's pretty much the same things. I don't think we can wall jump, though. And we don't have a double jump either. But let's go ahead. Let's test out this bashing. Okay. So it stops on the first enemy, and then you can jump. He does a lot less damage on the jumping, but he does obviously bash more damage when he bashes, because that's his specialty. But that is very, very cool. I kind of want to hear what happens when he takes damage. Let me hear it. Why are they not damaging me? All right, zombie, hit me. They're not damaging me either. Is, is Wario immune? Oh, this set bonuses. HP, melee damage, and defense. Powered up. Is that... Am I only powered up because 
Oh yeah, look, I'm not powered up without the star. Let me see, do I take damage now? No, I, I'm just not taking damage as Wario. Is he, is he invincible? Are they trying to tell us that Wario is a god amongst men? All right, next up a part of this Mario Land mod. Let's check out this right here, the hammer suit. Right click to get the hammer suit. And then we got a hammer suit equipable. I don't know if these are the same thing or not. I'll take both of them, I guess. And we got the suit hammer. Can be used while wearing the hammer suit. Uh, cannot be used otherwise unless you're wearing the hammer suit. But let me see here, right click, boom. Oh, so it does just give you this. And then we just put this on and that's it. Are we in a hammer suit now? Maybe we have to be Mario. Yeah, look at that. Okay. And then now we can throw it. This is amazing. Let's go ahead. Let's spawn in some enemies here and test it out on them. See how good these hammers are. They seem okay. If they pierce, then that means they're pretty good. Oh, they do pierce. Not bad. Now, I wonder what happens if we put the powered up stuff on. Does that like make us any stronger? It just says, it just says powered up. That's it. I don't know. Maybe we do more damage. -ish. Let me see. Let me summon in a bunch of them again. Oop, did not mean to do that. I don't know. It feels like we're doing more damage. It definitely felt faster to kill all of them. But, uh, you know, let me see if we could do this as uh, Luigi and uh, Wario. Okay, you could do it as uh, Luigi. No problem. But what about as Wario? You cannot do it as a warrior. Okay, okay. All right, next up, we got uh, a couple of items here. Let's just take all these items here. Ice flower, we'll, we'll start with these four. And then let me just stay as Mario, just so I don't have to keep on putting stuff on. And let's try out the fire flower. See how this works. Oh, shit. Let's get some enemies in here, some zombies, some slimes. And uh, how, how do I shoot? Am I supposed to be able to shoot? Makes Mario and Luigi able to burn enemies. I'm clicking, nothing's happening. Maybe, oh wait, what about this? No, maybe there's a special keybind. All right, so this mod actually has like a complete wiki, which helps out a lot because barely any mods have complete wikis. And it pretty much just said that we are able to just inflict the on fire debuff with any weapon when we have it equipped, which is kind of cool. But I kind of wish that, you know, we actually shot out fireballs and stuff. But, uh, you know, yeah, I just got I got to just shoot a couple fireballs while Mario. Come on. It may not look right, but. At the same time, you know, it doesn't look that wrong. It doesn't look that out of the ordinary. All right, next up, the ice flower does pretty much the same thing. But now we can shoot or now we can inflict ice on people. You know, I just got to I just got to use the the flower frost. And, you know, might as well since I'm here, just check it out as uh, Luigi too, just so you guys can see to see the multiple forms. All right, next up here, we got the builder hat increases Mario and Luigi's towel and wall placement speed and reach. It looks very cool. I love the looks. I really love the spriting of this mod. It's very dope. I don't know if they're taking it from another game or if they all or if they're doing it completely from scratch, but it is pretty damn good. Go ahead. Check out Luigi. Nice. Next up, we got the frog suit boost Mario and Luigi's abilities underwater. Right click to swap with the builder hat. So you can only wear one of the accessories at a time. And it tells you that and it tells you that you can directly swap with another accessory. Boom. Oh, yes. Who doesn't love the frog suit? Let me see Luigi with it real quick. They're pretty damn big with the frog suit. The head of the frog suit's huge. Let me go ahead. Let me get up to the water up here. Looks kind of weird while jumping with it, but our abilities underwater are enhanced like this. We can we can move a lot faster underwater, and it's pretty dope. I should, probably shouldn't make this water deeper, but we get the idea. All right, let us go ahead and test out the three flying things here. We got the Super Leaf, the Tanuki Suit, and the Cape Feather, and it's going from weakest to strongest. The Super Leaf is the weakest, and the Cape Feather is the strongest. So let us see here. I don't know if that's uh, game accurate, but from the text, it says for a while, for a long time, and then the Super Leaf says for a bit. But yeah, let's go ahead and test it out, see how long we we could fly slash glide and we're gliding for a bit there's no like pressing space and using the cape over and over again well probably because we don't have a cape but uh there you go that's this one all right next up we got the tanuki suit looks great you know turning mario into a furry i don't see any problem with that <laughs> yeah let's go ahead let's see how far we can fly slash glide with this one. Ooh. There's no animation for it, but you know, we are gliding a lot longer than the first one. Oh, and last but not least, we got the cape. Now this thing, I hope we do the animation, you know, with the cave animation where we're bouncing up and down and shit. But let's see it in action here. I expect us to be gliding for a bit. Oh, he, he actually does it. What? That's amazing. Let me try again here. Let me try from this side. Let me close these doors. Then let me try and glide to the right. Go ahead, do it. Oh my God, am I supposed to like let go or something? Oh, he actually does it. You can actually do the thing. Oh my God. This is amazing. This is, this is a, 
S tier mod right here. All right, on to the last couple of things in this mod. Sadly, there's actually no monsters or any mobs of any sort in this mod, which I thought there was, but I think I got it confused with the Yoshi's Island mod, which has, I think, a lot of monsters and bosses. So yeah, we'll check that out eventually in another video. But we got this right here, the Jet Pot. Improves Wario's speed, jump height, and grants flight. So I'm assuming this is from the uh, set of Wario games, but increases our speed, our jump height. Whoa, what the fuck? And we just straight up fly? I thought my game froze. But no, that's how we fly. What the heck? <laughs> I mean, I guess it's pretty much just like a bird on our head is what it looks like. But yeah, last but not least, we have the Goomba Shoe. Who doesn't love the Goomba Shoe? It's a mount. And look at this, baby. Oh my god, it's amazing. I wonder if we do more damage when we're in it. Let's see. I don't remember how much damage we were doing before. Okay, it does not feel like we're doing more damage at all. But it's still cool nonetheless. I keep on getting hit when I step on it. Seems like the longer you step on something's head, the, the less damage you do. Like, it slowly goes down. But yeah, let me go ahead. Let me see Luigi in here. Okay, I wonder if Wario can get in here, too. Oh, you can. Look at that. I don't know how he's fitting in there, though. But yeah, there you go. That was the Mario Land mod. Now, I don't really see this mod as being able to do, like, a full playthrough or anything. But in terms of, like, just being a unique and cool mod, it's definitely probably one of the coolest, like, one-off unique mods I've ever seen. It's got dope-ass sprites. It adds in a bunch of items from the game. I do wish they added in more items. And I do wish that, you know, the fire flower, you can actually shoot fireballs and stuff. I wish that the abilities that came with the suits and abilities and power-ups were all there with when you have those things on. But it's understandable that those things may be hard to code. But yeah, I hope that they add in more. And, you know, potentially you might be able to do a playthrough. It's just I have a lot of mods installed, specifically Calamity. And I'm in expert mode, which probably buffs a lot of these healths and makes it, like, impossible to actually kill anything. Other than that, you know it's a great mod can't wait to see more from this mod the wiki is actually like complete so you can get a lot of information maybe information that i missed out on and uh you know we'll check out that yoshi's island mod soon because that mod looked cool too yeah thank you everybody for watching the video uh, i'll see you next time